in this video i am going to discuss about uh, the estimation method generalized maximum entropy estimation method uh, we have uh, learned about the ols and gls in other videos um, the sas proc that is going to be used for this is proc entropy and uh, the speciality of these uh, this estimation method is that it is suitable when we have too many outliers in the data um, and then if you if you use the OLS or GLS ordinarily square or generally least square method in a data data set having outliers uh, the estimates uh, are going to be biased and not going to, the model is not going to be good so um, and this is also suitable when the distribution of the data is not very clear and uh, this this uh, this is also very uh, problematic because the assumption in uh, most of other models is that the data set is normally distributed or binomial distributed but uh, sometimes it's not very clear um, and then small data set uh, and then large number of uh, very uh, uh, correlated uh, regressors or independent variables uh, in that case also uh, this estimation method is very uh, suitable so uh, i'll give you an example here uh, i'll take the dataset uh, cards from the sas self um, and then i'm uh, i'm just uh, changing some of the values in this dataset to make sure that it has uh, a certain number of outliers so i'm just uh, uh, assigning values uh, manually just to have a couple of outliers and to see with uh, how how uh, glh uh, olh and uh, generalized maximum entropy methods can be used and the uh, estimates can be compared just to see how the uh, outliers look uh, i'm just running a regression model of reg data and then uh, the model is that um, i'm just trying to find out how mileage uh, of cars depend on uh, the weight and length of the cars so uh, that's the model i'm just plotting the residual uh, with respect to the observation to see the outliers uh, so i have already run it so you can see uh, in our data set there are a bunch of uh, outliers uh, here are the ones uh, there's another one here and then um, now these outliers is, is going to be uh, uh, very problematic if you run a oil situation so uh, the uh, generalized maximum entropy estimation is suitable so the, the uh, sas procedure that is going to be used is proc entropy the syntax for proc entropy is similar to uh, the proc rake uh, proc entropy data then data set model uh, the dependent variable uh, and then the independent variable to the right side of the equal to sign let us run this So uh, the output looks like this. Um, so the first thing to see is that uh, the uh, whether the optimization is uh, converged or not. It says that uh, it took uh, 44 um, iterations and the conversion criteria is met. So there are a number of information measures. Uh, one of the measure that we look at is the objective function value. Well, that is very similar to the log likelihood value in the uh, the OLS and the GLS estimation and then uh, I'll straight away go to the estimates and you can see uh, the estimates table uh, is similar to what we uh, see in uh, maximum likelihood estimates and table uh, just that there is a slight difference uh, instead of uh, uh, the standard error we have just approximate standard error and uh, when we compare uh, the estimates of uh, the this uh, estimation method and the OLH and GLS you will see uh, some difference uh, with the estimates and the standard error generally the standard error for in this case will be uh, much less than what you can see in other uh, estimation uh, method like OLH and GLS the important thing about uh, this uh, estimation is that the estimates are robust enough so if you're not sure about the data uh, so not sure about uh, the distribution of the data and there are not too many observations then generalized maximum entropy estimation should be used